Welcome back divers. In this video I'm going to show you how to install your ROV's second motor driver. To install the left side motor driver you're going to need your internal electronics cradle. You'll also need three 440 machine screws, three 440 nuts, and the motor driver. You'll want to start by turning the electronics assembly onto its right hand side. Once you're set up, you'll want to organize the excess wiring into loops that lay flat against the left side of the electronics assembly. The micro USB cable that powers the Raspberry Pi is already in place, so now I'm just adding the servo wires. Let me just make sure that none of the wires uh, push the motor driver out of place. Since it looks good, we can start threading on the screws. So with a flathead screwdriver, I'm just going to thread one 440 machine screw into each of the three remaining pre-tapped holes on the cradle. And this should hold the motor driver in place. And to make extra sure that the motor driver is not going anywhere, we're just going to tighten on a 440 nut onto each one of those machine screws. We're finally going to attach the remaining GPIO jumper wires to the motor driver's corresponding pins. First things first, connect the GPIO 27 wire to the motor driver's DIR1 pin. Next, connect the GPIO 22 pin to the PWM1 pin. Then the GPIO 10 wire connects to DIR2. And lastly, plug in the GPIO 9 wire into PWM2. And this is how the Raspberry Pi will control your motor driver.